to go stand in the gap for kids this spring so that they can freaking cross there, I'm going to do that every afternoon. Design solutions. Set parents in Egan last night as they discuss how to make a busy route to school safer for the kids. Ellery, this debate comes after a student died there. Tell us more about this. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. So uh, we've told you about Patrick Vitek. He was hit and killed while riding his bike to school this month. He was just 13 years old. Now that road he was on, there's been a push for years to make it safer. And now that push seems to be stronger than ever. Patrick was hit on Diffley Road. The speed limit there is 45 miles per hour and it has three schools off of it, which is concerning to many. Now, last night, lawmakers held a meeting to hear from parents and they got an earful at times. Parents are upset that it had to get to this point for a child to die in order to have this debate again. They're pushing decision makers to see for themselves how dangerous this road is. Put your feet on the street, walk these routes that these kids are walking bike these routes that these kids are biking. We're making these decisions based on transportation needs and things like that. But please, walk these routes that these kids are walking to see how hard it is to get to school safely. Now we're not sure when the next discussion will be, but we will follow this story because this is a big concern for parents in Egan and parents virtually everywhere can relate to this concern. Their kids getting to school safely. Gia? Thanks, Hillary.